Hey, I'm Dorian, joined by my wife and celebrity menswear stylist. And if you don't know what that means, you might want to Google that one. <laughs> She's here in the flesh to help us today. Ash, thanks yeah. for joining my channel. Hi. <laughs> it's not your channel. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I gave you a break for the last couple of videos, right, but that's thank it. You. Thank you. I appreciate that. So guys, today we're talking about how to look like you're rich when you're not, or really how to dress well. That's yeah. ultimately what we're talking about. And I've seen it in the comments for years now when Ash gives her wonderfully simple, specific, very sharp advice about how to dress well. The first comment is, well, I don't have money for that. And it's like, you don't have money to buy a $10 t-shirt. You don't have money to go buy budget-friendly jeans mm -hmm. and get them tailored for five to 10 extra dollars. If that's the case, literally nothing's gonna help you. No. But if that's not the case and you understand that maybe a little bit of effort goes a lot further, mm -hmm. you're gonna love this video because that's really what ultimately we're talking about is how to look like you're dressing well, regardless of your budget. And frankly, this can all be done for the cheapest possible you I, can find. I mean, look, I am a stylist. I deal with really, really expensive clothes. And I can even tell you, you dressing well and having style has, has nothing, nothing to do, to with, do price. with money and nope. having money. Zero. So let's get into it. So first up, and this is super, super important. I'd say this, if you get yeah. this, you've done 80% of Agreed. dressing well. I totally agree. 100%. Yes. Uh, 100%. What am I saying? <laughs> you've done at least 80% to 90% of the hard work of yeah. dressing well. And that is nailing the fit. You get the right fit, whew, you're like pretty much golden. Um, when your clothes don't fit you well, it doesn't matter how much money you spent on them. Nope. Whether it's a $50, you know, well-fitting bomber jacket, that that can look way better. That is going to look way better than a $600 to $2,000 bomber jacket that doesn't fit you right. Looking rich means you have the means to look as best and have the best things possible. But the best part is that unless you really know your materials, jeans are jeans, jackets are jackets, wool is wool. No one's going to know, nope. oh, that's a super crazy yep. high-end fabric. Mm -hmm. They're just going to know you look good in that. Yes, and that's why nailing the fit yep. is going to already set you off onto, into, into the right direction. And we've done you a huge personal favor. We have an entire article and video series called right. How Your Clothing Should yeah. Fit series. Yeah. Every piece of clothing you're possibly ever gonna run into, we talk about how it should fit you specifically for your age and body type. Yep. We're gonna link it in the description below. Absolutely check it out. Again, nailing this part is 80% of the work. Yep. Honestly, it really is. <laughs> Do that only and you'll already be a step above everyone else. All right, let's move on. And the next one in how to look fan freaking tastic yep. on a budget we'll call it, is nailing the accessories. Yes. This is where you separate the men from the boys. This is that extra 15 to 20% that once you've nailed the fit, now it's on to the finer details. I totally agree with and you. And this is where it goes bad or really <laughs> good. So what I'm talking about is like your watch bands, mm -hmm. the types of glasses you wear, the ties you wear, the pocket tie squares you wear, the tie play, bar, yeah. the little peak of shirt coming out of your sweater as opposed to just being up here and it's just a sweater. It's that type of detail that really makes you stand out. Really what we're talking about with this point is just paying attention and incorporating those accessories into your wardrobe. It, it's really gonna set you apart from other people yep. and, and everyone will notice. I mean, when I met Dorian, not only did he have a well-fitting suit, but I also noticed his silver tie bar that fit perfectly, his Tom Ford sunglasses that he had on, the little cufflinks that I could just see a tiny little peek of. My I mean, shoes these, were polished. Yeah, these you know. little details really really will set you apart from everyone else and really is what makes you look very put together and very, I mean, sharp. sharp. Also, we've got a whole video and article dedicated to this called the Essential Accessory Series that you should check out. Link in the description below. On to the next point. Okay, so this next one, I've definitely talked a lot in my other videos. I would say <laughs> since the channel started. Yes, <laughs> definitely. So that is making sure you get the right shoes. And mm -hmm. ensuring they're clean. Yes. 
They they're, look nice. Yes. Um, they and go with the outfit yeah, and the they're, occasion. They're timeless as yep. well. Yep. Um, and it doesn't matter how much you spend on them, you can still find shoes that tick all these little boxes. Mm -hmm. Women notice your shoes. I'm sorry, it's it's a fact. Women notice them, men notice them, but we women did, We especially. did a video, yeah, women, women are especially keen to this for some reason. Don't know why, it's just how it is. Don't blame me, blame her kind. <laughs> There's a whole video and article dedicated to the first eight things or first things women notice, and you're gonna be very curious about what's at the top <laughs> of that list. Um, but yeah, what Ash is saying, it doesn't matter the types of, like the shoes that you're actually wearing, but they just generally need to look clean and yeah. relatively well kept. And frankly, shoes make or break outfits as Ooh, well. Yes, they do. <laughs> and a lot of guys get the outfit right, and then you go down and you're like, ah, yeah. dude, what happened? Yeah. It's all, put it, again, <laughs> the whole video basically is about putting all these pieces together to look as good as possible. And shoes is where a lot of guys go completely off the rails. <laughs> we got some shoe videos linked in the description below about essential shoes you should own, also based on the seasons. So definitely make sure to check that out and Ashley gives really, really good pointed advice about what you should be looking for and what you should be getting. Okay, so before we get to this last point, if you've been enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video. Knowing what to wear for the right occasion. Yep. We released a watch video recently about the um, things that women notice about men's mm -hmm. watches, and one of those is knowing when it's appropriate to wear the right watch. Yep. Guess what? That also goes for the rest of the items you're yeah. also wearing. Showing up to a five-star restaurant in jeans, your latest Jordans, and your G-Shock, not a good look. No. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Very low rent, very low class. Mm -hmm. yeah, Let's avoid class. that as much as possible. But then also, Coincidentally, like, yeah. showing up to a backyard barbecue in a three-piece suit oh and your fedora, gosh. That just, you tend to look like a bit of a dickhead. Yeah, you just look like you're trying too hard. Exactly. It's just like, oh, you rub people the wrong way. So you want to make sure you're wearing the appropriate clothing for the occasion, maybe a little step up. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're at the barbecue and you put on a polo shirt yep. as opposed to a t-shirt I'm always a shorts. big fan of going like one step above, just like a little baby step, little baby just, step. you know, cleaning it up, making it a little bit nicer. Because if you want to look rich, guess what? That just means you look well and you dress well all the time. So that includes regardless of the occasion where you're at. So we've got a whole essential series. I'm getting tired of talking about our videos, but at the same time, <laughs> these are really appropriate topics mm -hmm. for a longer deep dive. So we've got an entire wardrobe essential series that will basically cover you for any single event you'll ever encounter in your entire life. Yeah. Check it out. It's linked in the description below. Guys, hopefully you got something out of this video. If you didn't, sorry. No. Everyone got some helpful advice from that. I wanna I wanna play devil's advocate. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.